Hi, I'm Ed Amorosa from Tag Cyber. I'm here with Samir Mahotra, who is the founder and CEO of Truefort. We're going to talk a little bit about the platform and some of the technology that's at the root of your fine platform. Welcome. Hi, Ed. Thank you very much. Nice. Now, the general area, and we'll, we'll focus in, is, is application security. Right. And you guys have a pretty effective solution for, for business apps. Give us a, just a high-level summary of what you do, and then we can dig into some of the tech. Yeah, absolutely, Ed. Um, we're focused in helping um, our uh, customers protect their critical applications. Yeah. Uh, it's all around uh, understanding the behaviors and then putting in protections in place yeah. uh, to keep the bad yeah. folks out of yeah. uh, the valuable tech. So let's let's uh, talk a little bit about some of the uh, bases. A analytics, I would imagine, would be the the first kind of requirement for somebody. They want to use your platform to do analysis on what's happening. Is that where the conversation usually starts? Sure. Um, as we know, Ed, uh, many organizations have spent years building their technology right. uh, due to attrition, change, and just basic uh, changes in in their internal structures or mm, business yeah. uh, drives change in their applications. So one of the things that we found most valuable uh, with our customers is getting them a basic understanding. And that's based on analytics and visibility and behaviorals mm. around each and every application that runs their business. So, so <clears> the <throat> idea is that when an, an application's running, the, the traditional way we do security is we build something that would protect paths or pathways sure. to the app. Sure. And you guys complement that by collecting telemetry about behaviors? Do I have that right? Like yes. Build, how do you build a profile? So how, do, how do you do that? One of the key things that we've understood and the reason we built uh, Truefort yeah. was that just pure network alone does not solve the problem. We've, yeah. You hear it um, over and over again in the industry uh, about breaches through the perimeter or inside yeah. a threat. Yeah. And understanding the behavior around um, your application that uh, runs your business is important. And the way we do that is we collect telemetry about 115 different points yeah. in and about your application in real time to help you understand what's going on. How, how are you collecting that? Are you tangled into the app or are you rounding? Sure. It? Um, you know, in most cases, uh, the easiest way is to deploy our agent. But what we've done mm. recently is formed relationships with leading EDR providers. Mm that allow us to pull telemetry uh, from existing investments that you've made. And this reduces time to market uh, significantly. Let's talk about that, because I would think that would reduce things more than significantly. That's good. Well, what, what, when somebody normally does some kind of an application security thing, they spend the first three months probably... Right. So if you were to buy a new technology, uh, we know what the path is. You're going to spend three months evaluating that technology and getting out. the agent yeah. out Right. Uh, on your infrastructure because the you know you want to understand what the dependencies Make are. Make sure it's not going to break anything. Absolutely. Right. Right. And what we found is that um, you know over the years there's a tremendous investment in existing EDR providers mm -hmm. yeah. and what we did was very simply make a relationship with them and uh, started people to get... people EDR, the endpoint detection. Endpoint right? detection. It's endpoint security. Uh, right. Yeah. So right. There, there are lots of uh, providers right. in that space. So today. they probably have something running and all this. Stuff. Right. Yeah. So they have it running on their servers. And what yeah. we do is we yeah. pull that telemetry back into our TrueFord appliance yeah. and start to give you visibility in your application. Where does your uh, appliance reside? up in the cloud somewhere? It's, it can re uh, reside on premise, on the cloud, uh, wherever you run your applications. Yeah. Yeah. So. What are you looking for? Are you looking for a deviation from So the, the first thing we do is we And again, back, we said three months they would normally be taking to Just to, to install evaluate. the agent. But if you're, if you're kind of leveraging existing investment, that shrinks that almost to, to That zero. shrinks down to a matter of days and weeks. Not and not so we just turn it on. We, give you the sp we turn on the spotlight on your apps. Yeah. Uh, and we start to give you an immediate return in terms of what's going on uh, with respect to your applications. Yeah. Uh, so what we then do is profile those apps for yeah, you. Okay. What we found is many customers start with just understanding the basics. We find that their CMDBs are wrong. Their information in terms of how their apps are made up are incorrect. And this visibility helps you define and correct that and then start to apply profiling that gives you a uh, tacit understanding of the behaviors that, ex that are exhibited with your applications. Does it take a little time to get a general sense of, of normal? Yeah, uh, it really depends on the application yeah. uh, and uh, you know, uh, the business uh, timelines around that. Yeah. Uh, usually we find simple apps are within a day or two to a week. 
Uh, more complex uh, periodicity requires a little bit more work, but we've made that very easy in, t in terms of how we work with the uh, customers in terms of profiling that from yeah. a machine learning perspective. When you see an anomaly, you're notifying quickly? Is that the idea, like there'd be a rapid notification? Absolutely, the, uh, when we see anomaly, uh, we have uh, uh, built it on a complex event processing. Mm. And so we, are allowed, we can look at com uh, multiple events and determine that there's an anomaly based on uh, some of the algorithms that we have, but we inform you immediately that we're starting to see a behavioral change. And that could be the uh, step that is required before uh, the bad guys actually make it into your environment. What, what role do you see threat intelligence playing here? Because I would imagine you'd want to weave threat intel into this whole equation. Is that, is that even possible? Yeah, absolutely. And we, we think that's a very important uh, aspect. And what we've done is we've um, uh, formed uh, partnerships with some of the most oh, leading okay. threat intelligence organizations wow. out there. Rather than developing it ourselves, we think you should get the best of class. And so we um, configure threat or we combine mm. threat intelligence from the leading yeah. providers yeah. with our ability to profile and look at behavioral change. So a typical environment would have the, certainly the network protection should be there, you know, you know, certainly protecting the path makes sense, but at the application level, I'd have both behavioral and also woven in threat intelligence to provide right. context. Am I saying that right? Absolutely, you, in a single platform, you'll get behavioral, yeah, you'll get pathway management and threat intelligence all around uh, protecting your critical app. So this gives you incredible visibility. Now let me ask you, how, how many of your customers translate that into kind of automated response and doing mitigation or, or do they keep them separate? Right, um, a lot of the customers uh, want to drive that. We yeah. all know that the socks are all in pain right, in terms right, of the amount right. of telemetry and it's automation. True. And so if you come up with a new platform in the industry, the first thing you have to do is make sure the customer has uh, not only an easy way to use it, but an easy way to defend their right. platforms. And that's, right. what, that's the approach we took. So we have a fully automated protection capability built into the platform. Mm -hmm. Now, the, uh, I, w I would think that the primary mitigation is to stop what's happening. Like if there's, um, be, at the right, you, you see like uh, behavioral activity which is suggestive of maybe a hacker or some right. ma malware, you guys see it and the idea would be to stop, block it and prevent stop it. it Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So the first thing we do is once we get your behavioral profile on your application, we cross that with known threats from the threat intelligence space. Yeah. Yeah. And then we uh, measure every behavioral change to look at if it's threat based or uh, you know, it could be change based or uh, behaviors that we've never seen before. But the main thing that you get from Bushido is the real-time response capability mm. that we're starting to see that behavior and they'll give you an opportunity to actually put a block on that yeah. before it actually uh, executes or occurs. What are you guys selling? Is, it, is the sales process mostly with security teams, app teams, both? I bet you probably get a little bit of everyone. We find it very interesting. Um, the value of the analytics uh, goes across the enterprise. Yeah from security to infrastructure to applications. Yeah. We have lots of conversations with the CIOs and the application architecture teams that just want to have a basic understanding. But you know what the real value is that we create a canvas that allows all those different teams to use one standard platform mm. to have those conversations. Where do you think this is all going? Do you think, uh, I mean, a lot of people would say cloud, virtual, SDN, and so on. What, what, what trends do you see like in the next two or three years in, in application security? We, we absolutely see the value of applications that drive the business. Yeah. Uh, whether it's, it's movement to the cloud or, uh, you know, just having it built uh, in your internal premises. We, we think uh, irrespective of where you run it, you have to protect it. Um, with the advent of uh, new ways uh, of uh, distributing your applications, for example, now we're seeing a lot of movement to the, to the mobile edge technologies mm. and so forth. Right. You still have to have a way of understanding if those behaviors that are at the edge are germane to how you run your applications or the security around it. I love your statement. It's almost profound that regardless of where you run it, you still have to protect it. Absolutely. It's an interesting concept because a lot of people figure out hey, moving the cloud is fine and that's missing a step. Right. right. Um, a lot of assumptions are made that applications are static. 
And unfortunately, with the new uh, compute paradigms, uh, especially when you look at application PaaS environments, they're becoming more and more dynamic. Right. And so you need a platform that can actually uh, you know, keep up with the dynamic way that you distribute your technology. And so Trueforts t made a great effort in, in, in making that a reality. Well, I hope if people are interested in application security, they give you and the team a call. You we hope so too. A lot of cool technology. I've um, known you guys for a few years. I love watching you evolve and get better and you know, build tools that I think right now are pretty world class. So appreciate you coming by. Thank you, Ed. Appreciate Thank, the time. Thanks for sharing. And we will see you next time.